So, it's Friday, and I'm pretty sure this is the first footage of the week, and um, I would like to explain that to you now. So, I'm sick. I have some sort of flu bug going on. You can see the shadow of my phone. Isn't that professional? Other hand, even worse. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it then. Do 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 do. Better angle. No, it's just kind of nicer for my arms. Um. So, yeah. Um. Wednesday, I started feeling really gross. I had like aches and I was really shivery and felt feverish. I had a low fever, and um. Usually Wednesday is like when I start filming for the week because that's when interesting things start to happen. But this week I just, I didn't feel like filming on Wednesday night and this week's Shepherd Night wasn't really like vlog worthy anyway. So it was really fun. We had massages, but I mean, can't really film while massages are going on. So anyway, um, then the next day I felt better in the morning, yesterday, yeah. No, the next day was yesterday. I felt better in the morning, and so then in the afternoon, after lunch, we went and played Ultimate Frisbee all together, and it was so fun. I love Ultimate Frisbee. Um, I wasn't feeling 100%, but um, I still played, which might have been a bad idea. <laughs> and I would have filmed that, but I was too busy getting my Frisbee on, and um, yeah. So then when we got home, uh, I was just feeling really glum for some reason. I don't know why, like, I mean, my team lost, but I'm not that much of a sore loser that it would ruin my mood. Uh, yeah, so I got home and I was like, well, I'm bored, I'm glum, and the internet's being a piece of crap, so I'm just gonna sleep until dinner time. So I did. But then when I sat up to stand up to go to dinner, I could tell something was wrong. And I get down to the room and I felt kind of, just, I've just felt off, and I went into the room, and, like, the eating room, and it was just this reek of cheese, and that's, it sounds so French, I know, I was talking to Katrina, and she's like, that's the most French thing I've ever heard, um, yeah, we'd had a French dish for lunch that was topped in the most repulsive smelling cheese ever, and not just topped in it, but, like, doused in it, it was completely covered, so, I can't stand the smell. The smell alone makes me feel a little nauseous. And I walked in and I, I I almost threw up on the spot. So I wouldn't sit down because even though we weren't eating that again, the smell was still there and any food was like I couldn't think of it at the moment. And I wouldn't sit down because I wouldn't commit to eating. And then someone, um, Cindy, she's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> so I did. And I lay here in my bed and tried not to throw up. And, um... Then after a while, Cindy came up, and um, I got, she brought me a Coke, which, uh, you know how they tell you to drink like ginger ale or Sprite or whatever? Every time I try that, it doesn't help. Like, I know it's supposed to be the carbonation, but something about the lemon just puts it off for me. And so this time I tried a Coke, and it actually worked. Plus, Coke tastes good. So, um, yeah. And she brought me crackers, which I didn't eat because I have a weird relationship with those. She brought me a bucket just in case, didn't end up using it. I didn't get sick. Um, eventually I was brave enough to sit up for an extended period of time. I FaceTimed Katrina for like an hour, which was fantastic because we haven't talked in ages. And um, then I went to bed. And now it's Friday. I woke up. My stomach was fine when I woke up. And I had a bit of a headache, which is weird for me. I always have headaches, but not in the morning usually. So I took Tylenol at breakfast, and instead of bread, I had like a tiny piece of, I, I, it was like, it was about that wide, okay, it wasn't that long, um, of quiche that, from the night before that I would missed eating when I didn't have dinner. And it was delicious, but a bad idea because my stomach didn't appreciate it. So all through class, my stomach was like, why did you do that? And, um... So I was thinking, okay, I won't go to lunch, but now I'm actually kind of hungry. And I think I'm gonna go and just like eat a piece of bread and see how I feel. And I think that's actually like right now, so I, I have to go. So I'll either talk to you later or possibly not. I, I have to do my chores today. I'm gonna see if I can do my chores today. Um, maybe I'll get someone to carry the vacuum up and down the stairs for me because 
not feeling overly physically capable at the moment. So, yeah. There's your Aaron update. Does that mean anything? I don't know.